Good morning. I'm in the basement doing my thrift hunt. I already picked out some dishes upstairs. Um, so now I'm in the basement. So I got casserole dish and I have some corningware and some Pyrex that mom has stacks of. She had five, um, like, lasagna dish size pans. So I took one. So I think she's still, she's still good if she wants to make something like that. Uh, but now I'm in the basement because I've got the vintage ornaments. I found the box of vintage ornaments. So this, like, the box is even... Um, so I'm going to take the ones that were in the box upstairs and put them in here, but I'm looking for a hard-sided container, box, Tupperware or something that I can put these in so I know that they're not going to get crushed because this box is frail. Okay, it's not pretty, but it works. So I folded the divider and I still got room for the ones that are upstairs. Um, so I'm not going to take the original box as awesome as it would be, but I'm just going to keep it here. So I know where it is if I want it. But these are fish boxes we used to get at the restaurant. Mom had a restaurant. My mom and dad had a restaurant in Trinity. <clears throat> and the fish fillets, the codfish used to come in these boxes when we used to get them from the fish plant. So we've got a bunch of them and they're great for reuse reusable because they're super sturdy plastic. Great for cupcakes. How many of us had one of these growing up? I used to love to play with this thing. I used to think of it as like a light bright. Like this is original from the early 80s, maybe even the late 70s. Yeah. So there was a time when I gave all of my gifts in decorative boxes. <laughs> Didn't need wrapping paper, I just made bows. So I'm gonna go through this and see if there's anything I wanna keep and use again. But yeah, this was a, this was a phase. Whoa, oh, oh, da, 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 oh, 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 da, 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 oh, 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 da, 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 da. Making our Christmas memories. Oh yeah, and not only did I give gifts in these boxes, in the box, I would make my family put everything back in the box and put it all back together under the tree so it still looked pretty after Christmas morning. Yeah, I did. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire So this is the coat that I was talking about. There's a button missing here and there's a button missing here, but I found two of the buttons. So I'm thinking I can make this work, but there's none on the inside. So that doesn't really matter. Um, I can totally use any buttons for the inside, but isn't it cute? It's Dorothy Perkins, which is a British brand. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you can tell the color. It's kind of this orangey rust color, but I was, I had to go back and find it. It was only 9.50 and all the other coats were like 20. I think it's because the buttons were missing, but they're not missing. They're in, one was in the pocket and one is attached to the little pouch thing right there. I'm out of the basement and I'm off to shoppers. You'd think I'd go to shoppers a lot by the way that it's going. But um, no, I don't go to shoppers all that often, but in the past few days, I have. Um, I need to get cat food for mom's cats so she doesn't have to go out. And I need to get acid reflux pills because I'm out. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little look around the beauty department though, because I think they have a beauty boutique at this one. We're starting to get more and more of the beauty things in the beauty boutique um, in Cornerbrook, which is nice. Um, 
not all the brands, but a lot of them. And the one that I used to have to order or come in here and get, which is Pure, the P-U-R, um, the powder I use, which I love, they now have it in Cornerbrook. So that's fun. Oh, and the mascara I've been using lately, which I am obsessed with. Uh, TJ gave it to me because it came with something that she bought and she didn't like, she has her type that she likes the best. So I started using it and it really is awesome. So not sponsored, but you know, if Pure Cosmetics wants to sponsor me, I would not say no because I love their products. Um, I've had other things by them that was, you know, okay. Was it a concealer? I don't remember. But their four-in-one pressed powder foundation thing is amazing. And I use it all the time. And apparently their mascara, which I didn't really, it was just kind of what I had. And TJ gave it to me. I was like, sure, I'll use it up. But it's awesome. So after that Pure Cosmetics ad, I wish, um, I'm off to shoppers. So um, I'm almost to shoppers now. But I just thought of something. I was reading the comments uh, a little while ago on the video from yesterday and uh, some of my thrift find uh, videos that, um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, people who still have their American Girl stuff from when, like, they were little. That was never a thing for me. I think I was too old. That They didn't come out until I was past the doll stage, I think. Um, I'm, like, ten years older than the girls who would have played with them. So... Um, I wasn't part of that, but see, Violet doesn't have an actual American Girl doll. She has a doll that's like the same size, um, but she might get one for Christmas. Not sure if that's going to happen or not, but that may be on the horizon. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I'm tempted to go back um, without her and see what I can find that I can wrap up for Christmas for her uh, to go with said doll. Uh, but I think Steve's going to take the kids out to his parents this afternoon. What are you doing, Mrs.? What are you doing? I want to go over there. Can somebody please let me go over there? I want to go over there. Anyone? It's Saturday. I know. Thank you. I just want to go over there. Um, anyway, I could possibly go out without them when Steve takes them to his in-laws, to my in-laws, his parents, later today. But it is Saturday, and it's December, and it might be crazy. So do I, do I attempt it? Do I? I don't know. Depends on if I feel like tackling holiday crowds. Like, Saturdays are busy at Valley Village, holiday or not, so... I don't know. Should I go? I don't know. I don't know. Will I regret it? And yes, for the, I think it was Lori that said, yeah, Lori um, said that, have you seen the price of buttons lately? You can understand the hesitation of the coat. But I found there was one button like in the inside of the coat and the little like Ziploc bag that comes with the coat. So obviously this was never really worn. And there was the other button was in the pocket. So I really only needed two buttons. There was the shoulder and on the front. Um, and there was the clear button for the inside was in the little bag too. So I got it. And mom was going through her buttons uh, to see if there was one that was similar that I could use uh, for the shoulder because it didn't really matter because the collar is kind of over it anyway. But I don't need to. There was the buttons. So, you know, nine fifty at Value Village is a deal for a coat. And I love it. So I am glad I found it when I went back. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Okay, so I'm out again. <laughs> I did the shopper's thing, went home, got the cat food, got mom some stuff done that she wanted, wrapped a gift, um, and now I'm going to do the thing. I'm going. It is 1.38 on a Saturday afternoon in December, and I am heading to St. John's to Ken Mountain Road at 
the worst part. Ugh. If you're not familiar, Kemmout Road is where the big mall is and where all the shops are and where, you know, it's, and it's always under construction too, which makes it even worse. I don't know if it is now, but I, it, I feel like it's always under construction. Anyway, so I am going to go do the thing. I am going to check Valley Village. I am going to go to Salvation Army and, because I didn't get there yesterday with the kids because I was pushing my luck as it was, and I am going probably uh, to Toys R Us. Um, we'll see. Okay, so because I am heading out here on that road, and because I did not go to the other thrift store that is on Kmart Road, and it is the first one in the series of three, I think I'm going to pop in there. It's almost 2 o'clock. I wanted to be back home by 3.30. I don't know if this is going to work out, but I think I am going to stop in at the first one. Um, it's not as organized and... Um, not as nice, but it's cheaper. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on box. Well, that was a bust. There was nothing that caught my eye and it's a lot more expensive. Sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in the one horse open. Okay, found a couple of things. I'm going to head to the Salvation Army now and I'm making good time. I'm only, it's only 2.30. Um, I'm going to head to Salvation Army now and then, uh, that's on the side of the road. And then I go across the street um, to, what is that place? Toys R Us. <laughs> but I'm getting hungry, so do I, do I get something? I think, I don't know, we'll see. It's 2.30 in the afternoon and it feels so dark. Like, I know it gets dark early, but at 2.30, it feels so dark. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. I made it home at 3.46, so not bad, not bad. Um, I did not go to Toys R Us because I found something really cool at Salvation Army. So, um, it's better than what I was going to have to get. Anyway, uh, I know I'm speaking in code, but it's, it's cool. You will get to see it eventually. Just not yet. <laughs> just in case. Um, so I'm going to, I picked up Starbucks, uh, another peppermint mocha and a sandwich because I was starving, but we're going to order pizza later, but I'm going to go in and go through some of these things that I picked up and yeah. I will check in later on. Guess what? I'm in the car. I just ordered pizza. So I wouldn't have to leave the house. I forgot to make sure that it was delivery. And it was pickup. Like, I had it. So it was supposed to be delivered at 6.15. Where's the pizza? Go on my computer and check. And it's ready to be picked up. Awesome. Anyway, um, I will be bringing the pizza home and packing up and getting ready to leave tomorrow. So I really don't know if what I filmed today is worth putting together in a vlog or not. We will see. So this is it for me from the car, talking to my phone all day. If this turned out to be a vlog, well then thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow in the next one. You can't see me at all, can you? No. Okay, long trip home, car ride tomorrow, back in our own house, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye!